Hi, I'm Jim Jubeck and welcome to this week's Quick Pick. This week's Quick Pick stock is Apple. Now, about oh, a month ago, six weeks ago, I did a post on my sites. And if you're not reading my sites, you missed it. I did a post recommending basically Apple as a stock to buy because 2022 looked like a year of a lot of new product introductions, which would give the stock uh, and the company momentum. And it contrasted with uh, 2021 when the company really didn't do a whole lot, when uh, introductions were kind of disappointing. So the, the big um, Apple developer event uh, happened this the early part of this week. Um, and we did indeed get some really important momentum on products. Uh, one is we had a new, ver the new version of the iPad Air. Really, this is the first update for the iPad Air since 2020. Uh, we also had a continued um, move to add new chips and new power to the whole line of uh, the whole Mac line. We're basically getting a new generation of Macs. And then the most important one, I think, in terms of sales um, was a new uh, low price iPhone SE. This is the, the lowest price uh, Apple uh, smartphone. What Apple's done is it basically has taken uh, the processors from the high end, this is the A15 processors from the high end of, of the smartphone line, I'm giving it to this phone. So this phone now has the speed and the power of a more expensive phone. This is a very, very attractive product, a very attractive uh, price point. So um, analysts like Dan Ives at Wedbush said he'd be surprised if they didn't sell at least 30 million units of this of the SE uh, in the coming year. So this is, looks like a good time in the product cycle to buy. It's an interesting time in the stock. Let's look at a chart. Now, Apple hasn't been impervious to the sell-off in technology. Uh, you notice it really peaked uh, sort of at the end of December, early part of January, and it's been down, but it hasn't been hammered. It is still trading at a premium, according to Morningstar, but I think it'll always trade as a premium. So the stock is really, the stock is only down like eight and a tad uh, percent for 2022. Uh, not bad in this market when a lot of technology, when tech, tech as a whole has entered a bear market, uh, holding up fairly well. So I would look at this as something to maybe dollar cost in average, but I don't think that we're looking at a big drop, even if, if tech goes down further. And this is a stock that I'd like to own for the long term, and I own it in a number of my portfolios. You can find those uh, with the links down below. It's Jubeck Picks, uh, dot com, which is my free portfolio, uh, Jubeck AM. Um, Dot com, which is my paid portfolio, it's my subscription portfolio, um, six portfolios instead of three. Find links to those down below. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, that way you get notification when I do uh, any new video, and I'm doing about three a week right now. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.